Welcome back to the Malton Man Cave. I'm your host, Keith. Tonight, I have something special for you, a very special dram, courtesy of Mike from Mike's Whiskey Reviews, from the Isle of Skye. All right, guys, so tonight I got something special for you. We have Talisker 25 down in the Malted Man Cave, courtesy of Mike again, as I said before, um, from Mike's Whiskey Reviews. Thank you for leaving me this. Um, unfortunately, there wasn't a ton left, so this is the first time that I'm actually tasting this in the last couple months. I did try some of this at his house a couple months ago, but I didn't get any tasting notes. So this is going straight in, blind, so I really haven't had this in forever. So if the notes aren't as good as usual, I apologize. So... Talisker, as many of you know, is known for just being uh, a super briny maritime um, maritime festival in your mouth. To me, Talisker, especially Talisker 10, is one of the most salty, briny whiskeys. I mean, there's all kinds of Isla whiskeys, all, you know, different types of whiskeys from the coast or that use peat that just have a ton of salty goodness in it. But Talisker definitely takes the cake for me. Um, so this particular one is at natural cast strength, bottle number 16604, age 25 years, as I already mentioned. One of only 21,000 limited edition bottles of 25-year-old natural cast strength. Da, 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 da. Talisker bottled in 2004 from refill cast. So from the color, I'm assuming mostly refill bourbon cast, but there might be a few sherry cast mix in there for good measure. If I can find it, I'll put it in the comments there. Um, so anything else I want to say about this? This is one of Mike's favorite whiskeys. Um, so thank you again for letting me have a little bit of this. Um, I don't think I really have anything else to say. Um, Talisker is not necessarily my favorite distillery, although I did love the 18. The 10 is a great, you know, value for money whiskey. Um, they've kept the age statement and it's a pretty decent ABV. So I do think they chill filter. Um, I haven't checked on that in a couple of years, but I think they used to. So hopefully they're not doing that anymore. I'll let you know right there. But without further ado, let's get into the notes. This is just going to be a quick, raw review of Talisker 25. Oh my goodness. The salt is the first thing. It just reminds me of every time I've ever been on vacation. Anytime I've ever been around the sea or the lake. Um, I know, I don't know. I was about to say, it reminds me of Lake Erie, um, even though it doesn't have, it's, you know, fresh water doesn't have salt, but it does just something about like anytime you're around a maritime environment, like, like a, like a boathouse, a musty, dank, damp boathouse. I used to have to, we, we'd bring in the boats for, we I was at a camp, a summer camp and, you know, we drive the, the campers on skis or in tubes and we'd bring it in. We had to clean it, clean the life jackets. And there's something about this, like a dank, salty, Boathouse also reminds me of all my Coast Guard days being in different boathouses. Man, it just immediately orchard fruits, lemon, lime, maybe even the slight, it's not strong, nothing like a spring make or anything like that, but there's a slight soury, maybe even, dare I say, vinegar note to it. Lemongrass, maybe a little bit of barnacles, tad bit of ginger. Vanilla, a little like touch of like frosting cake, buttercream frosting cake. Man, but but saltiness just steals the show. And it's you can definitely tell this is an older whiskey. It's just aged to perfection. It's nice and mellow, but yet full of robust flavors all at the same time. Man, I could taste that. I could, I could smell that for days. There's just so many different in, things in there to find. Maybe a little bit of oranges, orange saltwater taffy. I'm going to take a little bit more time than I usually do because I haven't got any notes on this. So I really want to kind of see if I can pick, pick some more things out. Like driftwood or just some kind of, no, driftwood. Yeah. Nice toasted oak. good nose 
All right, on to the palette. Pull, pull a horse looning. Oh my. On the palette, it just explodes. I forgot about how much flavor there was in the palette. So the palette is way better than the nose. The nose is amazing, but the palette, it, it just explodes with salty lemon, salty lime, salty, you name it. A little bit of orange saltwater taffy, maybe vanilla taff, saltwater taffy, buttercream frosting, a little bit of orange again. And there's a, it's not strong at all. It's nothing like a spring bank or some of the other, you know, whiskeys that you can get like in a vinegary sour note, but there is something sour and vinegar just barely in the background. I think that's where the lime kind of comes in the lime flavor. Mm. Let me take another sip. Maybe a little marzipan. Maybe a little bit of. Hmm. It's so weird. It's like kind of subtle, but yet robust. So like when it first hits you, it's like full of flavor, but then it kind of, and I'm not saying this in a bad way, it kind of just like eludes you. It's just like out in, out in the, the background. It's there and it's pleasant, but it's kind of hard to pick it out. You have like salty pistachios, a little bit of nuttiness. Salted almonds or pistachios, I'm not sure, but somewhere along that line. Salted nuts of some type. Maybe even a little bit of honeydew melon. Yeah, or even regular melon, or even a little, little tad bit of cucumber, which I typically get a lot with Klein Leash and Ben Rennie's. Um, so it's kind of interesting to find this here, like salted cucumbers and like salted honeydew melon or just regular melon. Again, the vanilla. Wow, and it lasts. It lasts a long time. On to the finish. We've been spoiled down in the man cave lately. We've had Kilcarran 15, Oloroso into Highland Park 25. And uh, Talisker 25. Been, we've been drinking pretty good down here in the Malta Man Cave lately. Mm. Man, it is just salted pistachios with driftwood a little dryness to it but yet there's sweetness from the lemons the limes the salted orange saltwater taffy buttercream frosting there's that sweetness at the end that makes the dryness and the salty work perfectly which is not something that a lot of older whiskeys always accomplish sometimes they can be too over oak they can be too like too much sherry it can be too much you know what have you but this is a beautifully balanced whiskey Yeah, mm. such incredible. Malted Man Cave Mark for me is a 91 out of 100, almost to a 92. Um, I don't know, I've been in a sherry kick lately, a really like sherry bomb kick, um, but this is special. Yeah, you know what, no, this is a 92. <laughs> this is a really stinking good whiskey. Um, man, so... Oh, the saltiness really hits the spot if you're in the mood for something salty. So, Mike, thank you very much for letting me try this, my friend. Um, hold on to the next bottle can I, so I can have a little bit more. So this was just a quick review of Talisker 25. I'm down here in my lonesome down in the Malton Man Cave. Obviously, Dave couldn't join because of the whole social distancing. I'm down here in quarantine, but he's in here in spirit. I'm drinking this for you, Dave. I'm drinking this for you. But thank you guys, as always, for watching. Please like, subscribe, please turn on notifications, and remember... Gotcha.